Tesla update here on the 18th. So we got the 50 basis point cut from the Fed. Uh, this video is just going to be Tesla, by the way. Um, we got the 50 basis point cut from the Fed. And Tesla basically flat. And so let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's go to the hourly. And so I've been saying over and over for a while now that I pretty much think this is going to end up being the B wave right here. I think it's pretty much solidified at this point. And I think we're in the final stages of this move up. So we can go ahead and draw parallel line from right here to the B wave. And you can see it actually fits perfectly with this move as well. So that's a pretty obvious um, spot. I'll get into that here in a second. But you can see clearly this is not a five wave move. If it was a five wave move, then you would have seen a more um, vertical move. So if this is A, this is B. Now we can just zoom in on this part right here. And I believe that this is also ABC. You can see here, do not break the parallel line. So I have A right here. And then we get this move down, ABC down. And then we get ABC up. And uh, another move down here. Let's zoom in even farther. So if this is A overall, this is A down. This is this is either B right here or B is right here, and this is the move down. It could end up being W, X, Y like that. Either way, this made a higher high. So that's a really good thing. That's a really good clue because that completely removes um, – that completely removes the chances of us coming down here to 210. So now I'm even more confident that this is a B wave right here. So now we have A, we're working on B. B is about to be finished. Um, it looks like a five wave move. I bought the dip at 228 today. I sold up here at 235. Um, some of my shares, the reason I did that is for no particular reason other than I just like to scale out. Even if I think that the, the, the stocks can go all the way up here, I think it's smart to scale out when you're getting close to your target because you don't want to miss your target and then it reverses and you don't sell anything. So I usually scale out. So I scaled out of my calls and my shares. Luck, It was pretty much all luck, first of all, because I just was like, okay, it's... Close enough to 245, I'm going to sell some right here. And it just so happened that it ended up being the top and it came back down here. And I rebought at 228. So, with all that being said, this looks like the end of a B wave. Could it come down lower? Yes, it could. It could come all the way down here to 222. That is the. Well, it could come all the way down here, I guess, to 216 potentially. But I don't think it's going to. And if it goes to 216, then obviously it's going to break this parallel line of support. So the B wave could go into tomorrow. I looked at futures though. They're up huge. And Tesla was at like 231 overnight. So if it's way back up here, then that means this is likely over with. So I'll put B right here. Unless something changes. So now we know that we're probably starting the C wave. But we need some confirmation as well. So if that's the end of the B wave here now, I can draw another parallel line here and put this right here. And then we can draw. And it's still hitting my target of 245 to 250. So basically, if that was the bottom today, then we're looking at a move that will probably take into um, the end of next week to complete. So the whole thing will look like 
And you can see here also, another way of looking at this is those pretty much end at the exact same spot. So A, B, C, like that, it's actually W, X, Y. So W, X, Y, up to 245, 250. And then I would be a big seller there. For one, again, you're retracing to the 0.78 fib. That's where um, what I've learned recently, just adding this in here, I guess Wall Street likes to wait for the 0.78 fib. This is going to make the analysis even better. This is right at the 0.78 fib. Because um, previously, I just thought it was random, 0 0.5 to 0 0.78. Like sometimes it's 0 0.5, sometimes it's 0 0.78. But if you know that the smartest money likes to short at the 0 0.78 fib or buy at the 0 0.78 fib, that's some extra knowledge to add into your analysis. So if we hit 245, 250, that's a sell. And then I've shown in previous videos as well that the, look where the 0 0.78 fib is. It's at 160 for this move. This move only got to the 0 0.61 fib. So there, and let's say we go to 250 and look where that's at. Oh, that's a little bit too low. So it's a little bit off. 170 but it's close to the 0.78 fib so you can see um, why I think what I think pretty much impulse move more impulsive than this this is corrective and we move in either one two three four five or we move in ABC's so a corrective move down that is it possible that it comes down here and retraces to the 0.78 fib down here to 195. It's possible, but not very likely because if we've already hit the 0.78 fib of this retracement, what's the point of coming down here and then going up here farther? There isn't really any point. So you can see how like all these stocks are getting to the point where, uh, and why I think a market correction is coming soon. So I'm looking for 245 potentially by the end of next week. We'll see how it goes though. Maybe it'll chop around more and come back down. But right now it looks like it's probably starting. And the timing is probably around the 25th, which is about next Wednesday. So that's pretty much it for Tesla. Uh, one other thing, just look at the moving averages. And again, still very bullish above every moving average on the daily. On the weekly, we just got to get above that uh, 200 SMA. Everything else, we're bullish. And the 20 is getting ready to, to pass the 50. So we'll see if anything changes on the analysis. But right now, that's what I got. 245 by next Wednesday.